Someone asked me if I had ever made a cover for my harpsichord. Duh. <laughs> well, of course. Uh, so, this is the cover that I made for uh, my Neuburg I would sew on a moncho, a Japanese crest, uh, for every concert. I did this for years. There must be about 90 on this cover. And uh, they, they're, uh, these Japanese crests, mainly from around the 11th century, family crests, uh, trade crests. I was very interested in them at that time. So I used them as my labels. Sort of like labels on a, on a trunk. Um, they were almost all Japanese. And then on the back, th this, this has had a lot of wear. There's about 95 on these and on this cover, and this wasn't even my main harpsichord after the 70s. So, but on the back then, I would write um, the date, what it was, how much I was paid, $35 for that one. <laughs> so, basically, they're all these Japanese crests. Sometimes someone would make me one. If I was at a festival or something, somebody uh, made me this fancy little thing here with the tassels and the belt buckle. It works all right with the Japanese. I don't know what that was. That's all faded. See, this, this got a lot of wear. This one was at a, the Cabrillo Music Festival. The, there was a fellow there that uh, liked this ancient sign. It's not Japanese either, but I did that. But see how this is all worn. And then, of course, sometimes I was lucky and played with really illustrious musicians. So when I played with uh, David Oistrock, and his son, Igor, I thought I should have a Russian symbol, so I, that's what this is, and I got them to sign it. David Oistrug and Igor Oistra. And another signature on here is uh, Teresa Berganza. It has really, was really in a vulnerable spot. You can hardly see it anymore. So that instrument, that's before I got my dowd. Uh, it was a double manual Neupert. Historic style instruments were just coming into popularity. So, uh, I had to get rid of this. It had pedals for registration changes and also um, a 16 foot, so it had a lot of power. After that, I didn't do the cover thing anymore. I was too busy. Um, you can't see this one very well. That was my first French replica. So those were the days. And this is the day. 
Thanks for asking.